Let's go to the phone lines. Our guest is up, a gentleman that actually played with some unbelievable players in talking about Dominique Wilkins, Doc Rivers, uh, Carl Malone, John Stockton, and the original, okay, the original big dog himself, the great Antoine Carr joining us now here on the Bottom Line Sports Show. Antoine, Gerald Brown, how we see you? How's everything going? I'm good, brother. How are you feeling today? Doing well. Do us a favor. Just turn down your radio in the background. Um, yes, not even on. <laughs> you got it? You, you got it? You, yeah. yeah, we got a little echo and stuff like that. Okay, it's, try it again. Okay. What, hey, Antoine, work. can you hear us now? Is that better? How's that? It's it's better. It's better. A Antoine, thanks again for joining us. Appreciate having you on the show. Oh, no problem at all. Okay. Got to ask you, with the uh, basketball, we've been talking about a lot about the Basketball Hall of Fame and the induction ceremony. Uh, would the ceremony gain attention if it was held right before the start of the preseason? I would to have probably a, a different idea. I think it has to be more slick presentation. It has, it has to be something different. You know, it has to, it has to become more up-to-date. It can't be just for the few – Hardcore fans, it has to be something that can really get out there that the fans can can appreciate, that they can enjoy and enjoy with the guys. I mean, that, that's that's what made the guys in the first place are the people. Yeah. You know, Antoine, as a former member of those great jazz teams, how surprised were you that the jazz decided to match the contract offer of Gordon Hayward that he had signed with the Charlotte Hornets? Four years, $62 million. That's a, that's a lot of money for for a player right now that's still – kind of sowing his roots in the NBA? Well, you know, I mean, he, he's obviously a good player. Uh, they he, they ended up picking him on the U.S. team for the FIBA situation. But uh, for Antoine, $62 million? Well, I was going to say, you know, it's, it's, it's different now. I mean, those guys earn a great deal, and I don't know if they can play the full game, a lot of them. You know, some of them are more specialists than they are – for basketball players. Sorry to say that, but that's the way it is. <laughs> Speak the truth. Antoine Carr joining us here on the Bottom Line Sports Show. You know, Antoine, you you, you had a rally, you created a rallying cry for your alma mater, the Wichita State Shockers men's basketball team for the past two years. America has come to know about this slogan, Play Angry. Talk about what made you come up with that slogan and how did the team adopt it? Well, well what it originally came about, I was uh, doing a little AAU team here in uh, San Antonio, Texas, and I was using it with my kids there. You know, I tried to explain to them why you play, why you go out there with an attitude. You, you go out there and you don't get recognition. You don't get people looking at you. You think people think you're soft. All these type of things come into play, and I tried to explain to them. It's kind of, you know, someone walked in your house and kept stealing from you. Would you just kind of lay back and kind of laugh about it or, you know, try to get the stuff or the insurance? Or would you get angry about it? So, okay, I'm going to put a stop to this. And it, that's kind of how it came about is I wanted to get in their, the kid's head. And obviously when I went to Wichita State and they had lost three in a row, it kind of reminded me of that situation. I, I told, you know, early and uh, Hall and the guys that were there that, you know, why would you allow, allow someone to come in your house and take from you and you not be upset. You know, you walk in the locker room, guys are laughing and playing music and doing all this other stuff when they should be focusing and getting pissed off that, hey, these guys actually think they're going to come in my house and whoop me? Oh, no, 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 that's not happening. <laughs> Antoine Carr joining us here on the Bottom Line Sports Show. Gerald Brown, how we see. <laughs> Antoine, how do you see former shocker Clee Anthony Early fitting in with the Knicks? Uh, I think he's, he's going to do okay. I mean, if they give him a good chance, uh, the guy's going to prove that he plays angry, that he wants to prove that he belongs. I mean, he, he's a great young man, and, and they, if they give him, like I said, the proper chance, he'll be an asset for that team. He should be really, really interesting. Again, he's he's been playing angry, especially this his senior year. And uh, 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 Antoine, are you surprised that he slipped so far in the draft that he was actually a second rounder? Yeah, I was a little surprised by that, but uh, you know, it, it's different nowadays. You never know what exactly is going to happen. It's a bunch of teams looking at a bunch of, bunch of different data, and 
you know, you have different ways of looking at things. Yeah, it's really interesting. I, I, you know, Antoine, I was a ball boy for the New York Knicks many years ago, and I'll never forget this experience. I think you were on the court. I think you were playing with either the Hawks or the, uh, the Jazz. It might have been the Hawks, I believe. And you were talking about – actually, it was the Jazz, I believe. And you were talking about this story where uh, – uh, the late great Red Auerbach was really talking about how he wanted you to be with. Uh, he was very impressed with your skills and really close to becoming a. I think they, the Celtics expressed interest in you being becoming a Boston Celtic at one point. Uh, if if you look at the league right now, are there any players that you see that play angry? Oh uh, yeah, there's a few out there. Um, I mean, well, first of all, my hometown team. Of San Antonio, <laughs> <laughs> that whole team plays angry. You know they don't get respect. You know guys overlook them constantly every year, and, and that's you know you look like grown Mr. Leonard. You know these guys are not even paying attention to the kid, and the kid is out here tearing people up. You know, no one pays attention to those type of guys, the quiet guys, the guys that. Really don't have to make a bunch of noise, you know. They're kind of a lot like me, you know. The dog, I, I'm quiet, but I will bite you if you get in my way. <laughs> the big dog, but but I mean, Antoine, you had to face the scowl and all that stuff. We don't see that out of Tim Duncan. We don't see that out of Tony Parker. They're nice they're guys. They're nice guys. They're nice guys. Antoine, that's what I said. That throwback, you, Cliff Levinson, that Atlanta Hawks team. You had that face where it's like you knew that you was in for a dog fight if you're getting in out there on the basketball court with pa- you. Popovich has that dog face. The players don't no, have that they dog don't. face. Yeah, but see what you don't understand is there's different type of dogs in the dog pound, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got one that may look like he's laughing at you, but he's not. He's getting ready to get up in you. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Antoine, before we let you go, uh, you know, 96, 1996, 97, or the 97, 98 NBA Finals, which one do you believe the Jazz should have won, if not both of them, which were lost to Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls? Uh, we actually should have got both, I believe, but uh, we made some mistakes and uh, didn't take advantage of some things. and You know, um, we had some situations where players didn't step up. We had situations where coaches may have made mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's those little bitty intricate things, those small timing things that can change a whole game. So those are the biggest things. Yeah, yeah that's really sad. Uh, what, what is, how does Antoine Carr stay busy these days? Oh, well, uh, you know, I, I stay real busy. I've got my big dog construction company. We go out and do remodels. We do historic sites. We do all kinds of things like that. Uh, tax promotions and uh, also work. Right now we're working on Biddy basketball. And uh, it was something I used to play back when I was a kid. And the uh, organization kind of went down in Wichita. So we're in negotiation with them right now to create, create this youth basketball league in Wichita that I used to play with and for and uh, try to rebuild them and get them back to where they uh, former glory was. So. And Antoine, our question of the day to our fans are, what are the top three greatest players to never win a championship? Can you give us your top three? Ooh, well, two of them on my team. Okay. I think, I think <laughs> we know. Be, it should be three of them on your team. I think, I think, we, know those, I think we know those two, but, but, but tell our fans, please. You know, uh, I, I can give you that for sure. Um. Wow. And and of course you're talking uh, Carl Malone, John Stockton. Yes, definitely my two buddies. Okay. You know, which it's hard to hard to live with because uh, we were right there for two of them. Answer so, why, um, do you do you ever do you ever like when at this point in your life you know you've been out of the NBA for years does do you ever think back to like those two years those two championship runs. Like do you like does it like pop in your head like once a like once every two years once a week like when do you ever let it go, or have you been able to let it go? Well, you know, I let it go as soon as after it was done. Okay, <laughs> not, you know, it's kind of like spilled milk. Nothing you can do about it, yeah. there, brother. Yeah. I hear you. Get some crackers, get some crackers, and try to stop it up. About it. <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Who's that third player? Oh, third player, gosh. 
That's tough. Oh, man. I, that's hard for me to say. But. Dominique? Yeah, I would, I would definitely have to say Dominique out of all the rest of the guys. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, the, the guy was a sick talent. I mean, he could do some things you couldn't believe. So, yeah, I would have to go with Dominique. Mm-hmm. That's a good choice. That's a good right choice. There. Antoine, listen, it's a pleasure and an honor to talk with you and, and definitely really, really talk about some of the great times and stuff and congrats on everything. Listen, do us a favor. When the season gets back up and rolling and stuff, uh, definitely call back in. Let's talk some more basketball. Oh, yeah, anytime. Feel free. You know, we can definitely talk about guys that are playing angry throughout the season. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and that and and that's and that's his model that he created. Not Greg Marshall or anybody over there at Wichita State. The, the legendary big dog. The original big dog. Antoine Carr made that happen. Antoine, definitely appreciate your time. We look forward to talking down the line. All right, brother. Appreciate y'all. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Antoine. Antoine Carr joining us here on the Bottom Line Sports Show. The big dog. Play angry. Play angry.